so it's time to write data generator now and we have understood why data generator is important and why it is needed right so in the first step i would define a data generator method which would be a generator function and if you are not going through the data gen generator videos in the python basics you must learn what is a generator and how it is a work, how it works right so i'm just talking about a generator function in python so again this is going to be a generator function in python which is going to accept train descriptions which is a dictionary which maps image id with the captions for the training data and we also have encoding train which basically gives us how a particular image is mapped with the 2048 dimensional feature vector and we have word to index how to convert a given word into index and we also know what is the maximum length of every any sentence in the entire training data set and here we should take another term which is batch size how many photos we want to feed in the batch right how many training examples we want to have in a particular batch right and we also saw that our data has two things in your x array which is a matrix you will have uh, images and you will also have partial captions right so we are going to build these partial captions and we are also going to have the corresponding images right so how we are going to build these partial captions that i'm going to show you in the code so let me just come to this so i can say okay so i do not know x1 i do not know x2 and i do not know y so i just initialize everything with a empty list right and later on we can concatenate these two and see what we can do right and let me define the logic right okay so what i can do we can iterate over the key value pairs so key is your image id and you have a caption list in train descriptions dot items so you have key and the caption list in the this these two variables right and i can say okay i'm going to read one particular image and i'm going to read number of images equal to batch size right so i can say there is a photograph which is encoding of train basically the image path right so that is key followed by dot jpg this is my image id and for all the particular captions right so with single image i have multiple captions so we can iterate over all the captions in the list so for description or for caption and description list we can pick out one particular sequence and convert it into a list of numbers right so your sequence would be nothing but word to index of word for word in description dot split if word in word to index right and if a mapping is not present we are going to just ignore that particular word right so for all unknown words we are just going to ignore it right and now let me just show you what we are going to do right and this would be a list and for i in range one to length of sequence right i can say my input right so i can say xi right xi can be written as i will slice my sequence from zero to ith index and my prediction which is yi it is going to be sequence of i so have a look what we are seeing here so first of all for a given image id right for a given image id like this one right let's say image is some abc.jpg we have multiple captions caption 1 caption 2 caption 3 
upload to caption file right so we pick this caption let's say this is caption dog is running so what we do we pick out all the captions then we i convert all the words into numbers let's say this is 13 46 and 21 this is end of sequence let's say 18 right we say okay convert this list into list of numbers and then from this list we will generate multiple training points right in which the image will remain same but the first would be starting how uh, you will be slicing from zero to first index right which means you will have uh, you will slice from zero to up to this index right so this is one before this one right so zero to i which means you have 13 right and then you have let's say next time you have zero to i so i is basically going to iterate over this right zero to i means you're taking 13 and 46 then means you're taking 13 46 and 21 and in this case given 13 your prediction should be 46 given 13 and 46 your prediction yi should be 21 given these three your prediction should be 80 and so on right so you are going to make these sequences right okay and later on you are going to do padding right so that every xi is of the same length right so what i can do uh, i have xi i have yi and i can say okay i'm going to pad xi using the pad sequences function available in keras and it accepts a 2d matrix so i convert xi into a 2d matrix like this and i say max length should be equal to max length and value with which I should pad should be zero and padding is post right so you remember we reserve the zero word in our vocab so zero basically is the pad word right so zero denotes pad word padding word right so padding type is post which means we are adding this padding after the sequence of numbers right and here we should specify that we need to pad mm, yeah so we need to get the zeroth element right so this accepts a 2d list and it, it returns a 2d matrix right and since we have only one example so we need to access the zeroth element by doing this right similarly we can say yi right so yi is your you know, number and since we know when we are making a neural network we need to convert our numbers in the output as one hot values right so we can say okay yi will be a one hot vector and here you send your yi and you say okay number of classes is nothing but equal to vocab size and similarly we will access the zero element so this basically gives us xi and yi so we get one training point so in our xy so this is my batch right so in our batch mini batch we are going to append these values right so i can say x1 dot append photo x2 contains the input sequence which is xi and y contains yi right let me see what we have y right yes so this is how we are make, going to make a batch and here i can say okay if n equals to batch size so n basically denotes how many items we have in our current batch right so we are taking batch size here so if n equals to batch size we are going to use yield right so remember we are not using return function because it is a generator right and generator remembers the state where the function was in the previous call so we will convert x into an array x1 and we will have x2 and these two are combined as a single feature right and i can say okay 
let's also make y as an array and for the next function call when the control come back to this generator function again i can say x1 x2 and y will be an empty list because we do not want to add examples that were already there in the previous batch right so that that's it right so what we have done here is we uh, we are going to read training descriptions right? so let me just clarify right? okay. so suppose you have one particular image and it has five captions right? and let's say each caption is of uh, on an average seven words right so from one this from this image we have one into five into seven which means we have generated 35 x and y values and let's say your batch size is 64 right so maybe from the next image you have generated 20 more x and y values and from the next image maybe you have generated uh, mm, uh, this makes 55 and you have generated x y more values right so we are taking multiple photos multiple captions and from each caption we are generating multiple training points right so this is what we have done right and pad sequences if you remember it accepts a 2d matrix like this but since in our case right let's say it's one two three four five six seven so pad sequences will return this matrix right on so list of lists right but in our case we have only one row so we say okay we, we will feed in this we will feed in one row as this and we will get output as this 1 2 3 followed by 0 0 0 and since we again get want to just get this element i will give this as 0 similarly in case of y right so when you do two categorical it accepts that you are sending a list of lists 1 2 3 and so on okay it returns you something of this kind 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and so on but since we have only one example so we have done indexing by zero so that we get this list right and in x1 we store the photo which is a 2048 dimensional vector and in x2 as of now we are storing a 35 dimensional vector right and later on we will convert this into glove glove embedding okay this we will do in the later step right and in y we store a vector which is your one odd vector and it, it is equal to vocab size right so we, vocab size is roughly 1800 right so your y will contain okay which is the word i want to okay suppose this corresponds to is right so it means the next word predicted should be is right so this is what we have done in the generator function and as soon as we make one batch we just yield that batch and this is the role of data generator right and in the next part we will talk about word embeddings and this would be the final step before we start feeding our data to the model right so see you guys in the next part